Hey guys, so it's been so long since I've done one of these girly hauls. This past weekend I was looking at my older videos on Fancy Vlogs by Gab and I was like, it's long overdue since I've done like a sit down wearing like a nightgown, showing some fancy things kind of haul. So that's exactly what I'm going to bring to you guys. And before I get started, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions on my bun pin. It's like it's made out of stars. It's like super cute. It's one of the wardrobe pieces for Blood Queens for my character, which I'm playing Gabby, but I'm basically Chanel Oberlin. So this piece is going to be worn a lot. It's from my Kish. It's, I'll have it written down below. Um, my coupon code is Gabby, G-A-B-I in all capitals and 20. So if you want to buy this, you can get it on a big discount. So I recommend my coupon code. This is also a costume I'm going to be wearing for Blood Queens. The reason I'm dressed like this is because we have our table reading tonight. If you guys don't follow the Blood Queens Instagram, make sure to follow it. And if you don't know what that is, it's a spinoff of Scream Queens. Uh, Scream Queens decided to cancel for season three. So because all of my viewers love Scream Queens, I decided I'm going to make my own web series. It has nothing to do with Scream Queens, but it is style-wise completely inspired by Scream Queens. So D Squad is going to play characters similar to the Chanel's. I'm playing a character similar to Emma Watson's character, Chanel Oberlin. And it's going to be live every week in October. It's going to be called Blood Queens, and you guys should totally get all hype and follow the Instagram right here. So I'm going to get started because... All these pieces are so glam, so girly. I would show more of what I got from Toby, but that clothing is completely different from the clothing I'm about to show you, and I'm wearing it in season two of Nikki and Gabby Spring Break. Yes, Nikki and I got picked up for another season, but it's gonna be called Summer Break, and that's gonna air August or September, so that's good news. All the clothing I'm not showing is gonna be in Nikki and Gabby's Summer Break, so. I'm gonna link those down below in case you wanna be ahead of the game and buy the outfits I'm gonna be wearing. So the first piece I'm gonna show you from Toby is this adorable maxi dress. It's satin at the top with stripes on it and it's chiffon at the bottom. I really love this. I wish I had this when I went on vacation. My next vlog is gonna be a beach vlog because I went to the beach again. That's why I'm still really tan. It's not still from Bermuda. The next thing I bought was this cute little like necktie. Neckties are so in this season, so it's like very retro. I love that these are in. They're very like Audrey Hepburn. The next thing I bought is this cute satin periwinkle dress. It's like a wrap dress and you tie it. Wrap dresses are everything this season. So then I went ahead and bought a bunch of pajama shorts because like over summertime, I love, love, love to be comfy, but it's way too hot for sweatpants. So I got these. They're super comfy and elastic. I got these. I love the material. They're very, very shabby chic. And then I got these. And they have cute little buttons down the side. Speaking of comfy, I went ahead and bought this bralette and it ties over the shoulders it's so cute it meets with the other side and you could tie like a bow on top of your shoulders so if you're wearing something that's like gonna show your shoulders or if you're just wearing this with something it would be so cute to tie little bows then i went ahead and bought some bikini tops oops this is like stuck to something <laughs> i bought this cute white leopard bikini top I mean, there is no support on it, but it's such a good material. You don't really need any padding for this one. And then I went ahead and bought another bikini top. I love this bikini top because it looks just like um, a bralette or something, the way that it's styled. I went ahead and bought these high-waisted bottoms. I think they're so sexy with like the little, like, I don't know what to call it, like the little circle around your waist. I don't know. It's so cute. And then I bought another bandeau that has like a band that goes around your waist too. So this covers your boobs, like a band that detaches from the bralette that wraps around your ribcage. It's adorable. Then I bought these super pretty um, shorts. It looks like a skirt. It looks like a really short skirt, and I love that they're shorts because you don't have to worry about like flashing everyone. And then I bought a black satin high-waisted skirt. It's like a circle skirt, so it's not like a skater skirt. Hey, Lils. I then got a tube top that's a leotard, so it looks like this. There's no sleeves. It's plain, but it goes under the bottom and I like that because it's it makes it very easy to tuck into things and like I hate when I tuck a shirt into pants or something there's like a big bulge and it looks like you're bloated or something then I got these adorable comfy shorts they look like a skirt 
So you can wear them really short, but you're not gonna flash anyone. I'm so into that look. I don't know if you can tell. They're more peachy than pink, like more orangey, but I like that, especially if like you have a tan or something. Then I got another tube top that looks like this. It's white. Um, I have a feeling this is gonna be like somewhat see-through, so you might wanna like buy a strapless bra if you're gonna wear something like this to make sure it's nude. And last but not least for the clothing, I bought this adorable blush leotard that's blush lace and the back is like blush stripes with mesh and it's just so cute. I get like total French vibes from this. Totally goes with my Instagram feed. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you totally should. It's right here. They sell Steve Madden on Toby. Um, I got these cute slides. I have yet to buy slides this summer, which is really weird for me, but they're so cute. It's like a satin silky little knot. I feel like they go with all my outfits, so. Then I bought these cute like nude slash blush flat sandals, and I have like little furry heels, but I don't have anything flat that's furry that kind of looks like a heel but without the heel. I don't know, I was totally turned on by these. Needed to buy these, amazing. They look like this. They're so girly. For Blood Queens, I went ahead and bought these adorable Chanel looking boots. Um, I totally recall that she wore like boots like this in the pilot for season one. So, because they showed her shoes walking in the halls because she's such a queen. So, I had to get these. Definite wardrobe piece, like for sure. And last but not least, I got more furry shoes. And these are more like an ivory white. Like they're not white, but they're ivory. Kind of like the shoes I showed before, but more white. And I just thought they're really cute. I don't have any of these heels that have a chunky heel. They all kind of have like a stiletto. And I don't have any that are this short. So again, this is just something easier to wear than all my other furry slippers and heels. All right, guys, that was it. That was my summer 2017 girly summer haul. Let me know in the comments down below what piece was your favorite, and also let me know if you're going to be buying this crown piece and if we're going to be twinning. All right, I love you guys so much, and please stay tuned for the next vlog. It's literally so exciting. See you guys next time. Bye.